What does it mean to have Manchester United in your, in your stadium in the Champions League? Okay, first of all, welcome to Istanbul. So it's a big honour for us to host one of the biggest uh, global football brands in our stadium. Uh, we are really excited and looking for, forward to the game tomorrow and hope everybody will enjoy it. Now, fans in England will know Galatasaray and Fenerbahce and the Shiktas, but maybe they don't really know Basak Shahir. What can you mm. tell us about the club? So, comparing to the Turkish giants, uh, we are a, a very young team uh, acquired in 2014. So, we have a, in Europe, we have only six years' history. But I think in the future, they will know more about us. And I know they have good and bad memories against Turkish teams. They have wins and lost. So let's see how this group stage uh, will end up. You won the Turkish championship last season. How yeah. did you do that? Such a young club and you, you finished on top. Yes, but uh, you know, we climbed the steps one by one. So if you look at the last four years ranking, we have the we, we are the club that you know collected the most points so it's not like a coincidence you know you see in some leagues a club becomes a champion and the the year after it plays for the relegation so we are not uh, planning to be like that so i think it was a very well deserved success and that's why we're enjoying the champions league group stage now first time in our history and there are some players who are, we are familiar with from the, from the Premier League, including mm. Raphael, of course, yes. who is part of your squad. Yeah. Is, is that something you want to do more to, to attract Premier League yeah. players to, to this club? Yeah, actually, it was our part of uh, strategy, commercial strategy as well, to you know, uh, exploit our brand uh, globally. We started with Adebayor, Gael Kalishi, so other part of the Manchester, Robinho as well. So, but uh, now we have Rafael. He's a very big character. We are very happy to sign him. We have Martin uh, Skirtel, another rival for Menu. And you know, when we signed him uh, with Rafa, Martin was showing me his photo that he they had a, you know fight on the pitch in Liverpool menu game and I said now what's going to happen and he he was like he was at the wrong team that time but now he's, <laughs> he's at the correct team so it's good to have all this uh, including Dembaba so we, we cannot forget him so it really helped us to increase our brand value these players and you've played PSG and it was, it was a close game what mm -hmm. what do you think we can expect to see on the pitch on the on Wednesday, what sort of game will we see? So, I, we lost the game, but I think we experienced and learned a lot. And I think it also increased our self-confidence. So playing against all these world stars, Neymar, Babe, Di Maria and others. So we said, OK, we can uh, play head to head. It was a tough game on the pitch. OK, the score was not as we desired, but I think it really gained us more self-confidence for the future four games. And are you looking forward to coming to Old Trafford in a couple of weeks as well? Yes, so uh, theatre of dreams is dream of every club, I think every player. So we would prefer to play against the crowd, so the chance. But unfortunately, because of the pandemic, we cannot do that. But even it's, uh, it's very exciting for us. Thank you for your time. Okay. I really appreciate it. Okay. Thank, you. Thank you very, very much. much.